Hello, 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 and welcome, 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 okay, to Mary to Medicine, Mary to the what, Medicine, Season 9 Reunion Part 2, and let me tell you something, um, <laughs> it was better than Part 1, alright, let's get started. It opens with Andy asking Anila if she believes Toya had anything to do with the break-ins. First, Anila says, I don't know. I'm not accusing her. Then she finally outright says, no. Anila admits that she doesn't sleep well at night. As Andy points out, it's only been three months after the second robbery. And that's very unfortunate. Okay, so um, I, I'm i sending prayers. Y'all ain't got to send no prayers if you don't want to. But I'm sending prayers for the safety of her and her family. Because I don't know what's going on, but um, I can only imagine. Alright, and then there's a montage of paging all the doctors. Okay. All these beautiful black and Indian doctors working, okay, doing they thing. Oh my gosh, it was beautiful. Andy asks Simone, why is it a good time to be a black doctor? And she begins to explain black mom mortality rate. Black babies are two times more likely to die than any other race if they do not have a black pediatrician. Again, let's be clear. This is what Dr. Simone is saying. And my input is, like, I didn't do research on pediatricians and black babies. But years ago, I did do research on black pregnant women and found that their mortality rate was higher than any other uh, race. So, and I spoke about that in a previous review. Dr. Simone basically says it's better for a black woman to have a black OBGYN. And the reasons, some of them consist of, it's because of cultural bias, okay, and subliminal racism. And she says people simply are not hearing their black patient. Dr. Simone brings up Serena Williams, who is a great, fantastic, phenomenal tennis player and Olympian. Okay, 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 okay. Now, I can't remember what it was that she had, but Dr. Simone uses her as an example of her trying to tell her doctor what was going on with her body, and he just did not listen to her, you know? And I guess she's bringing her up as an example because it's like if an Olympian champion is not listened to as a black woman, <laughs> that's a problem. Like, I mean, you're not even listening to her. You feel like she don't know what she's talking about <laughs> when she's been training uh, for tennis ever since she was two <laughs> and very disciplined. And she's telling you about what's going on with her body and that it's an issue. And because whatever it was, she had it before and she said, I know what this feels like. And honestly, this is not with the the uh, pregnancy, but I can relate to that as well. When something was going on with my body and it happened before and I went in and I my doctor had retired and I went into a, a different doctor that she referred me to, and I'm telling them, what well, you know, this is, I think this is this, and they said no, and I said, but it is, though, I know what it feels like, and I demanded tests, 
And the test results show that I was right. That was what was going on with my body. And that is what Dr. Simone is saying that even this great, beautiful, intelligent athlete as a black woman going into her doctor, she still wasn't listened to. And so Dr. Simone was enforcing that that's why it's very important that black women have um, black OBGYNs. So we'll move along. And Miss Audra is not there because she is in her late third trimester. And, you know, uh, Dr. Jackie says that she didn't have any complications, but it's just too late in her pregnancy to fly. All right. And um, we find out later that uh, she had a beautiful bouncing baby boy. Congratulations. And we see see a small clip of the men arriving to watch the rest of the show and Eugene shows off his red bottoms <laughs> I told myself I wasn't going to laugh I couldn't even get through the sentence <laughs> okay 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 let me try this again Eugene shows off his red bottoms and the only thing that popped in my head was are they real and if so can you afford them sir okay <laughs> what is going on i think that's a fair question being that they've moved four times because they couldn't afford to maintain the mansions that they lived in and that's four times within a few years and that seems a bit irresponsible to me okay 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 now we address Toya's relationship issues but they play her homes being sold and Eugene not being with the kid now Eugene works 12 hours a day and sleeps 10 hours a day um that's according to his wife Toya there's rumors that Toya was cheating Toya did refer to her husband's penis being small and she did refer to not having regular sex and I'm just gonna say this I, I can't see myself doing that ever okay I don't even like to argue in public like I don't do that like, to me, all that's private. Like, I don't know if that's true about Eugene or not. And I don't give a damn whether it is or not. However, that should not even be a conversational piece. <laughs> Your man's piece shouldn't be a conversational piece. There's no freaking way. No freaking way ever that I would ever, ever set a stage for my man's penis to be talked about in any capacity okay small big medium whatever supersized whatever exercise all the time every time whatever whatever it's not we're not doing that we're not, do, we're not i would never and toya did and that, again, just highlights um, reasons why they call her Tacky Toya. <laughs> that is Tacky Toya, girl. I'm not calling you Tacky Toya. I'm saying Tacky, that's Tacky Toya. Because I'm talking to you, Toya, and saying I'm letting you know that's Tacky Toya. <laughs> that's Tacky Toya, girl. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Toya. Toya says she's lonely. Andy asks <laughs> if Eugene is better now, and Simone and Toya says yes. Andy says, you still sound lonely. Toya says, only because my friends weren't supporting me. Jackie tells Toya, you won't listen. When we try to tell you things, you don't listen, and you challenge my advice, okay? Okay, and the thing about it is, that's horrible, that's horrible, I can't stand a friend who wants your advice but challenges your advice, that's, I, I can't stand it, 
Toya says, when Curtis cheated, I was there, Jackie. And Jackie says, you were there telling me it was my fault he cheated because I wasn't giving him enough attention. Okay. So, yeah, you was there saying that bullshit. <laughs> you was there blaming it on me. Yeah, you was there. Okay. Come to the light, girl. So, my question is, isn't that what Toya is saying right now in this moment that her husband is not giving her enough attention? Is that the reason that these cheating rumors are circulating? Toya, girl, Toya. Is she a lonely housewife in need of attention? I'm just asking for a friend. I'm asking for a friend. Then they talk about Toya's rumors about the cheating. And Andy asks Quad, why? 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 She said it. Quad says, Heavenly said, Simone said. Yes, Toya is cheating, but we just had the wrong man. Simone profusely denies ever saying that to Heavenly. <laughs> Okay, and Quad, Miss Quad, what do she got? What do she got? Okay, um, Quad says, let me tell you how the whole rumor originated. They had a whole ladies' night in at Anila's house, and there was the ladies in your community saying you slept with someone in the neighborhood. Quad says Anila told her during a phone call and then roped Zaina in. Anila denies it all and Toya shakes her head and laughs. Quad says that she carried on that rumor because Toya perpetuated a whole freaking lie about her sleeping with married men now toya denies it but we did see her tell simone and contessa in this season okay we saw that that don't even make no sense for her to say she never said said it when she did say it and i don't understand why they didn't play that beautiful bean footage back so something is funny going there on there but my memory is good bravo because we saw her sit there at lunch or brunch or whatever the fuck and tell both Simone and uh, Contessa that she's sleeping with Mary Me. So she said that shit. And yes, Contessa, I mean, uh, not Contessa, Contessa played shocked like they didn't know that that's what was going. They all planned it. They planned it, I could tell, because they bad actresses. But, um, and that's also where Simone had said something, something with her messy ass. Anyway, they still black queens, but, ooh, just, ooh, okay. Uh, once you see her lie on her, she decided that she wanted to hurt her, okay? And that is Miss Quad apologizing and saying that once she seen um, Toya lie on her, that she decided that she wanted to hurt her. And that is the reason for the repeated ness of the rumor okay okay andy asked dr jackie how she felt when her friends talked about her marriage with her husband's infidelity she said she didn't hear the chatter and she blocked it out but she said it does hurt to know your friends are talking about you and to that I say that is such a great answer. Okay. Um very sophisticated answer. Okay. 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 Um and that is where I am working towards, all right? Because you know, in relationships sometimes you get in a relationship and then you got friends who not in a relationship and then like you know, when you find a good man or whatever, or what's perceived to be, then they get all upset, and then there's chatter. And Dr. Jackie said, she just blocked the chatter out. <laughs> she said, but it does hurt to know that they were talking about you. <laughs> and to that, I still say, come through Dr. Jackie. <laughs> 
She said she just blocked the chatter out. But it does hurt to know that, you know, that they're talking about you. Baby, come on, okay? I'm working on blocking the chatter out. <laughs> um, I do for the most part, but um, I don't understand why when you get a man, why your friendship group, like, why they be hating all of a sudden. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's why y'all will never meet him anyway. Moving right along. <laughs> Neela says she had no malice intent bringing Zayna to the party at Quad's house. This is her response to Andy asking about her comment on being set up by Quad. Now, pause. That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense. But moving right along. Toya finally has a good point as she tells Anila, it's even worse that you didn't believe it, but you helped spread it. What if we were in a place so fragile that he believed it? That could have made our marriage crumble. That was a good point. However, I counter. If your marriage crumbles over one rumor, it's not the rumor's fault. If a rumor takes your marriage all the way out, make no mistake that it's not the rumor's fault. So once again, Miss Toya, you sound dumb. Dumb, 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 dumb. All right, cut to heavenly's package about running her mouth <laughs> about her friends basically heavenly versus contessa andy takes a quick poll by asking all the ladies a few questions like who here has heavenly ever made fun of their looks you know they all raise a hand their finances uh toya raised both her hands the way that they dress they raise their hands um then he asks, who here doubts Heavenly and Damon have sex every day? Everyone raises their hand and Heavenly raises both her hands. All right, here's the thing. That was cute. That was so cute and funny. Okay, it really was. Um, But I want people to stop acting like people can't have sex every day. Okay, okay. So just stop that. And the thing about it is, don't try to make folks feel bad if... They are in a relationship or marriage where they do have sex every day. Like, people don't have to feel bad with, you know, their um, sexual appetite and freedom, you know? So, just mind your business. Because <laughs> I'm tired of folks. I'm tired of them bringing up sex. I'm tired of them acting like it's, like unbelievable for somebody to have sex every day i'm tired of them acting like it's unbelievable to have sex more than once a day like and i'm tired of them acting like it's our business this is not our business okay it's their business and i and then when we get them on a reunion then they want to act like it ain't our business if they have talked about it already like if you don't talk about your sex then yes it does become our what business but overall just knock it off. I want everybody to stop all the sex talk. <laughs> Andy asked, um, who here thinks Heavenly should get rid of her social media accounts? No one does. No one thinks that she should get rid of her social media accounts. Quad says, just stop talking about your friends. <laughs> like... It's like, you don't have to get rid of your social media account, but just stop talking about your friends. Now, with that being said, it's funny to me how they all agree about that, okay? But Contessa, five seconds ago, made it very clear that they are not friends. So, is it okay for Heavenly to talk about her now, since they're not friends? I don't know. Drop down in the comments and let me know. Okay. Now, cut to the men, all right? The men looking fancy and dapper, and some of them with red bottoms that they may or may not be able to afford. Okay! 
Eugenia. Okay. Anyway, um, Andy speaks to the men separately, and it's called the Gentleman's Club. Mm. I did, okay, anyway, I ain't gonna give no history on the Gentleman's Club. Um, Andy wastes no time and asks the men about getting into women's business. He asks Karen if he still thought the Movers Halloween costume was funny. He says yes. <laughs> he then asks, whose idea was it? And we find out that it was Anila's idea. And I think that she still thinks it was funny too. <laughs> And, uh, <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I tried to keep a straight face. I still think it was funny, too. <laughs> and I bet you Cecil does, too. Because even in that moment when Karen said, I apologize. Because he did apologize. And then he said, I still think it was funny. Cecil said, I, I thought it was funny, too. <laughs> Cecil is messy. Okay. <laughs> I'm blaming it all on Cecil. <laughs> Eugene explains why they moved four, four times. And here's the thing. This whole season, I thought it was three times. But Eugene lets us know it was four times. Thank you, sir. <laughs> for setting the record straight. My ass was him three times. <laughs> and it was four. Okay. Well, you know what? It is what it is. Which is what Dr. Karen is saying. It is what it is, dude. You did move a lot. So, I mean, shit. What? You know what I'm saying? You know what? You know what? You know what? <laughs> you know what? Let me tell you something. <laughs> Calm your ass. And stop letting your wife pump your ass with testosterone shots. Because, I'm not making that up, man. The last season, that was part of their storyline. That he wasn't wanting sex or something. And, and she was pumping his butt up with um, testosterone shots. She was pumping him up with testosterone shots. And I can see the difference. I can see the difference. Because he be acting like he want to fight and shit. So, pull back on the, the booty testosterone shots. Like, pull back on that. And I'm just saying booty because it was like in his upper booty-ness. That's, that's all. Um, anyway, have a good week. As I always say, thank you so much for supporting my channel. Click like and subscribe. Click like and subscribe. Um, and ring my bell for the next video because y'all know I'm going to wrap this up when they wrap this up, okay? Because I'm not playing. I, as I said in the beginning, I'm not playing with nobody, okay? Everybody can get it. Every single one of these women can get it. I love them. I love them. Don't get me wrong now. I love them. They are black queens. They are black queens. But everybody can get it, okay? So, see you guys here next time. All right? Bye.